Tonight, it doesn't matter whether you've been vaccinated or not. Local health leaders are asking you to go back to wearing a mask in indoor public settings. Cases of COVID-19 are rising quickly again. Monroe County reported 385 new cases in the past week. That's up from 222 cases the week before and significantly up from the 91 new cases reported between July 12th and the 18th. And my hope is that people will look at the numbers and make the same conclusion that we have, that wearing a mask, uh, even if you're vaccinated, will, will go a long way toward preventing that, that spread in, indoors. Jack Watson joins us live tonight. Jack, this is a recommendation, not a mandate. And that uptick in cases, we've gotten to the point where uh, local leaders are again recommending that people wear masks indoors. And now businesses, uh, local businesses are thinking about what they want to happen, what they want to see happen within their doors. It wasn't a recommendation made lightly. County Health Commissioner Dr. Michael Mendoza points to rising case totals as the impetus for this new mask recommendation. What we are looking at right now is an increase in numbers and we're trying to respond as things change. We're trying to keep up to date. And Dr. Mendoza hopes masking will limit how much of the virus goes around. He tells me today that while there aren't concrete numbers saying how much of this can be attributed to the Delta variant, cases have risen so sharply it's tough to imagine it's not playing a role. Obviously this isn't the direction that anyone wants to go. Scott Pukas with the popular Little Theater in Rochester says they're considering what, if any, changes will come to the way they do things in light of the recommendation. Businesses like theaters and restaurants have been battered by the pandemic. Vaccinated customers at the Little aren't required to wear them right now. Whether they ask people to mask up or not, the rising case numbers are cause for concern. Uh, now with this Delta variant and numbers again going in the in the wrong direction, you know it's it's never good. I mean, both for businesses and just for the overall uh, health of the community. Lux Lounge, a popular bar in Rochester's South Wedge, has already made up its mind. The bar announced on social media they would require proof of vaccination at the end of the week. In kind with a recommendation from Governor Cuomo, businesses do so. When it comes to masking itself, Dr. Mendoza's hope is that people understand. I'm very optimistic that people will look at the data and see that the numbers are increasing. It's not just a blip. So again, it's really only been about two, two and a half months since the CDC relaxed its guidance for people who are fully vaccinated indoors. Now we start to see that uh, masking recommendation come back from the county. And again, it's just a recommendation at this point. It is not a mask mandate. Still, the science behind this says that everybody masking up indoors will slow the spread of COVID-19. We are live in Rochester. Jack Watson, News 8.